Revealed, Mimiko asked Jonathan to prosecute Buhari for certificate forgery in new book. Bolaji Abdullahi, a minister under good luck Jonathan from 2011 to 2014 alleged that former Ondo state governor, Alaskan Mimiko wanted presidential candidate Buhari prosecuted for certificate forgery and disqualified from contesting in the 2015 election. He said Mimiko wanted then Attorney General of the Federation, Mohamed Bello Adok to issue a fiat that would have given the power to a private citizen to prosecute Buhari for certificate forgery which could have led to his disqualification from the election, or at the very least, disrupt the electoral process. But Adok, despite the pressure, refused to initiate process for Buhari's disqualification, hence, he was blamed by supporters and even patients Jonathan for the eventual loss of the former president. Abdullahi made this allegation in his upcoming book, On a Platter of Gold, How Jonathan Won and Lost Nigeria. The former minister, however, claimed that Adok blocked the move by Mimiko and others after he argued that there was no legal basis to prosecute Buhari. It should be recalled that Buhari had initially claimed that his secondary school certificate was with the military authorities, but they denied having it. He later got a replacement from his alma mater, Government College, Katsina. Alaskan Mimiko, allegedly wanted a good luck Jonathan to prosecute and disqualify Muhammadu Buhari in 2015 presidential election. The cable reports that, in the advance copy of the book it cited, Abdullahi described Jonathan as a man who had a distinct aversion for taking any action that could be regarded as unlawful or illegal. And as a result of this, the Attorney General became central to most of the decisions the former president had to make. It also reported that Patience Jonathan called Adok a useless man for not helping to disqualify candidate Muhammadu Buhari. Abdullahi wrote. Two days after the election, Adok had gone to see the president in respect of the appointment of a new chief judge for the FCT. While waiting in the outer room, the first lady walked in. He rose to greet her. But she took one long look at him and hissed, useless man. You betrayed my husband. Now that he has lost the election, you are happy. It was the same attorney general that Bayo Ojo used to disqualify Atikwa for Obasanjo, in 2007. It was the same office that, Mike, Andoaka used to make dead man, Amaru Musa Yarajua, to rule Nigeria. But when it comes to my husband, you will be shouting, Constitution, Constitution. Mohamed Bello Adok. Former Attorney General of the Federation argued against qualifying Muhammadu Buhari in 2015 presidential election. Going further, he wrote, There were a number of other issues that led many in the president's immediate political circle to conclude that Adok was the reason that President Jonathan failed to act with the required toughness on some issues, Abdullahi wrote. When in May 2013 the president declared a state of emergency in Borno, Adamawa and Yobi, some of the president's men, led by IJAW leader Edwin Clark, had asked him to sack the governors of those states as part of the emergency measures. Adok, on the other hand, counseled the president against sacking the governors, insisting that such action had no constitutional backing. Clark fired back. Asking the president to sack Adok himself. Prominent lawyers and civil society groups promptly weighed in on the side of the minister, and commended him for being a constitutional purist. They noted that he could easily have allowed the president to act differently, if he were so minded, 
relying on the precedent set by President Obasanjo in the case of Plateau State and Governor Joshua Darai in 2004 a matter concerning which the Supreme Court had declined to make a definite ruling. Abdullahi said a similar situation arose after five governors left the PDP to join APC in November 2013. Some PDP governors had gone to the president and asked that their decamped, defected, colleagues be removed and be replaced by their deputies. Their argument was that those governors did not contest the elections by themselves but on behalf of the party. They pointed out that this had been determined in the case of Amaki vs. Inek, in 2007, in which the Supreme Court ruled that it is the party that contests election and not an individual, he wrote. Patience Jonathan, wife of the former president lambasted Idok for not initiating process to disqualify Muhammadu Buhari in 2015. The mandates held by those governors were therefore held in trust for the P2P and could not be transferred to another party. If a governor left the party, as the five governors had done, they ought to leave their mandate behind. Where their deputies did not follow them to APC, those deputies should be sworn in as governors without delay. Whereas, where the deputy governors had also decamped, a sole administrator should be appointed. Failure to take these steps would amount to robbing Peter to pay Paul. The president summoned the attorney general and asked for his opinion. In line with his established character, Adok told the president that the position being canvassed by the governors could not withstand the test of the law. The constitution did not grant the president such powers and had spelt out clearly how a governor could be removed from office. If Jonathan were to act as the governors were canvassing for, it would amount to an impeachable offense. And that was the end of the matter. The book will go on sale nationwide from November 30, 2017 after the launch.